tips on her, you know, so that I know how to get to her when I need to. You see? If you don't do exactly what I tell you to do, Randy's gonna be the one who pays for it. She might even just disappear forever. What's this? Annual value of the goods. What? You think you're the first guy to come along, you know, and try to rescue one of my girls? You know, I've lived this film a dozen times. You want to save the hooker from nasty old Fletcher. And in the process, get a little peace for yourself, you know? <sighs> That's not what this is all about. Yeah, right. There's no way a sweet little package like Randy doesn't make you want to stand up and salute. Whatever, man. You don't know a damn thing about me. <sighs> Whatever. I'm a businessman. I made an investment. That is what she makes a year. Normally, I would ask for a four-year buyout, but because Randy's so special, you know, she's not only the icing on the cake, but, you know... She comes with the extra sprinkles because of that. And because you already owe me, huh? I'm asking for five years. You want me to buy Randy's freedom? That's the contract she signed with me when she started. You want her out of it? So I'm proposing a deal. Simple business transaction. You can't enforce a contract for prostitution. Well, not in court, but in my world. It, it, Randy wants out. She can get out. Only there's a penalty, and you're going to pay it. And what if I don't? <laughs> Well, then you have several options, you know. You could go run to Daddy and tell him what the big bad bully is doing to you. Or uh, you could uh, run to Randy and tell her, you know, she's up for sale. Or, you know, you could just ignore this offer altogether. But in all those situations, the result is the same. And Randy's going to end up in a world of pain. Don't be stupid. Just give me the money. And you and the girl live happily ever after. Otherwise, you're going to be trying to put Randy's face back together like a jigsaw puzzle. Now. Get out and have a nice date, doctor. Uh, I was supposed to be my father here for lunch, but I guess that I uh, that I beat him here. I'll just wait at the bar. Yeah. Hello. Hey. Hi, how are you? You seem like you're, you're uh, feeling better. Thanks, Doc. You can call me Jake. It's okay. So, uh, you're not just hanging out at a bar by yourself, are you? Well, I'm not working the bar, if that's what you mean. It's not what I meant at all. Sorry. Reflex. Um, I'm actually waiting for Frankie. We're gonna have lunch. That's nice. Nice for you guys. That's good. So, everything's been okay? Yeah. I mean, maybe even better than okay. I might have a shot at pretty decent. Okay, that is just not fair. She's totally hitting on the target. It's been very happy to hear those words coming out of your mouth. Jake! Hey, it's good to see you here. Amanda, how are you? Good. Amanda, this is Randy. Randy, this is Amanda. Randy is a very good friend of Frankie Hubbard's. Oh, cool. Thanks. 
sorry, I gotta take this. Uh, pardon me. So, welcome to Confusion. Wait, you work here? Well, sort of. I work for Fusion upstairs. We own this desk. Fusion, the makeup company? Yeah. Oh, wow. I wear their stuff all the time. Nothing like a happy customer. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Don't worry about it, Dad. I, you know, I'll, just, I'll see you back at the hospital. All right. Ah, well, ladies, I got stood up, so uh, it's lovely to see both of you. Oh, uh, wait. I actually came in here for a bite if you want to join me. Uh, I'd like to take a rain check, if that's okay. I'd like to squeeze in a workout before I actually have to go back to work. Does that make any sense? Nice to see you. <laughs> see you. <laughs> So, uh, how long have you been in Pine Valley? Um, a little bit. So, how do you like working at Fusion? Ah, it's great. Infuriating. Little blame factor thrown in, all of the above. <laughs> hey, don't rag on your job. A lot of people would kill for it. No, I know. It's just been really insane lately. We desperately need to hire somebody. How desperately? What? You think you might be interested? Are you kidding? Mm. No, it's just a starter position. Starter's okay. I've kind of been out of the loop for a little while. Well, I'll be honest, it may mean some late hours and schlepping some coffee and stuff. Hey, if you're offering, I'm interested. Very interested. I'm fine. Really, it's just part of the pregnancy journey. You sure? You sure that's all that's wrong? Yeah, why? I don't know, you just... You seem... a little uncomfortable. I'm trying, Ryan. That's why I suggested this trip. I know that Kendall is one of your best friends, and Zach has been a godsend to me on more than one occasion. I just want us all to go back to being the way we were before. Is it? It's just you meant what you said to me in the hospital, right? That you want our home to be the family neither one of us ever had. Absolutely, Annie. Family comes first. All four of us. Okay. That's all that matters. We both agree that Annie's acting strange. And I think it's more than just a woman traumatized by the death of her brother. There's something going on in there, Zach. Something dark. Yes, yeah, something's going on. If you keep pushing the issue, you're going to push Ryan and Annie right out of your life. So you want? No, not Ryan. Just sit back and relax and see where this trip takes us. Can you do that? Yeah. Did you send this to us? Yes, we did. We thought you two looked so sweet over there. Well, isn't that nice? We knew it had to be you. a celebration of some sort. Well, you're right. It is. It's very generous of you two. I'm Foster. This here's Babs. Hi, Babs. I'm Zayden. Hi. Yes. Nice to meet you, Foster. This is Greenlee. Hi. Hi, Greenlee. Hi. Hi. Um, would you like to join us? Oh, only if you'll split this with us. I'm afraid if we polish this off on our own, we'll be crawling back to our room. <laughs> well, we'd love to. Um, excuse me, can we get glasses? Oh, thanks. So, we kind of had um, a guessing game going on uh, over what your celebration was about. Is it a wedding anniversary? Oh, no, we're not married. Not yet. Anyway, <laughs> actually, we're getting married this afternoon. Oh, how wonderful! Yeah. Wow, <laughs> have you two known each other for very long? Oh, yes, <laughs> almost 40 years. So, what you just didn't want to rush into it? <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> we fell in love back then, but we made the mistake of following our heads instead of our hearts and ended up going our separate way. <laughs> we were both too stubborn back then to see what we had. We just met up again last month, and it was like we'd never been up. <laughs> Foster calls our 40 years apart, our sight and sprung. This is German for, for uh, the sidestep, right? Yeah. Do you speak German? Yeah, I mean, uh, a little. 
We're your fan, baby. <laughs>